IB1 family. Usually I get the microphone. I'm not doing that. And the first clip I want y'all to see on this one is six months free rent, like up to two years free rent, whatever. 20K a month, bro. 20K a month. 20,000. Somebody get on my Omar. They're getting $20,000 a month. You hear me? $20,000 a month. Undocumented. Illegal. Immigrants are getting $20,000 a month. You understand? I need you to overstand, understand, and understand. They're getting twenty. Are your tax money? They have lost the minds. <laughs> no, but I'm, seriously, that's some. Sh <laughs> and then I'm doing this one because there's two white guys who said something, and I'm not exalting them. I just want to know that the dominant society is starting to have a different type of conversation outside of their closed doors on these internet streets. B1. No, $15,000 in food stamps and $5,000 in cash money. Monthly. Every month they're getting that. Yes. And they're getting six months free rent. But this was the first time I heard about it. Now that I've heard it's two years free rent, getting Section 8 first prioritized before the citizens. So the Venezuelan migrants that are coming in here, they are getting six months free rent, fifteen thousand dollars in food stamps, and on the, on the credit card, five thousand dollars cash. Cash. Oh my goodness. How do the people in Chicago feel about that? Oh, well, people are angry because there's a lot of people, you know, that need help with Medicaid and food stamps, and they get rejected. Um, by my house, there's a Walgreens. There's a lot of families that go stand by the door with a pamphlet saying they need money and food. And they're Venezuelans getting money. And then they go in the bus and don't pay. Go in the trains, don't pay. And they're not getting in trouble for none, none of the wrong things they're doing. They get away with everything. By my house, a car passed by. It said Venezuela in the back. Winch, no, in the front windshield said Venezuela. And on the side of the window, it said Chandel Rock. And they drove by my house. All right, so this is for all the white people and any other race besides black people. I want to talk about reparations. I do know a little bit about it. I do know Jewish people get reparations and, you know, they get more money if they have a son. If they have a daughter, they get money for that, too, but less money. Native Americans get reparations for the, the crimes that were committed against their people. Um, but how come black people don't get reparations? I want to honestly a real reason for that. Why do black people not get reparations? But we'll send $100 billion to Ukraine, or we'll bring in migrants, give them free housing, free food, and, and cash, but black people cannot get reparations. Please explain that to me, because I don't fucking understand it. Speaking of the bring the bills up now, now, now. This, these are their bills. They have their names on the bills. They killing their own bills because they scared of the government. Now, listen, they gonna see this and they gonna get mad at us. They killing their own bills, then 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 they gonna get mad at us. They killing their own bills because they scared of the government. Okay? We don't care. We don't. We need to the government bills up now, now, now. Now. The world is watching California, and this is going to have a direct impact on your friend, Kamala Harris, who 
who's running for president. This is going to have a direct impact. So pull up the bills now, vote on them, and sign them. We, we, we have We've the been votes. waiting for over 400 years. I need to say this because after what happened the other day, I'm absolutely confident that the most censored content on social media is content that's pro-black. I'm not talking about the Black Lives Matter nonsense. I'm not talking about regular ass white people need to pay reparations, all that bullshit woke stuff. I'm talking about talking about what's really going on in the black community and what we can do to help them. Anytime I talk about the real history of African Americans, the real things that happened to them and how we fix them today, and all the people that are actually the enemies of black people, anytime I talk about any of that stuff, that is my most censored content. I put out a video two times in a row. It was a 10 minute video talking about um, something the Hodge twins put up that showed a bunch of black people at a fast food restaurant fighting with each other. You know, putting black people in the absolute worst light possible without uh, explaining what's going on in the situation and the larger circumstances that black people and black America is in and has been for several hundred years. So I did a long 10 minute video about Black Wall Street, about the fact that there's a liquor store on every corner in black neighborhoods, about the fact that drugs were intentionally put in those black neighborhoods by the US government and a bunch of other things. I posted a video without any sounds attached. By the way, every time I post a video now, it says no sound or no music at the top. That's a sound clip that when I post a video and they don't like what I have to say, they'll just remove the sound from the library, you know, maybe two weeks down the road. Then they remove my voice too, saying the sound had to be removed so they had to mute my video. Guess what happened with the video on black people? I exited out of that. There was no music, no sound. As soon as the video posted, the sound was removed from the video and you couldn't hear what I was saying. And usually, if the sound gets removed, I at least get the auto captions on the bottom. No auto captions. So you don't even know what I said. This happens all the time whenever I talk about black folks in a positive way that talks about helping them and pay reasonable reparations. What does that mean? Pulling their communities out of the poverty that the government put them in. That's legitimate reparations for black people. And I, now I'm realizing every time, whether I talk about black people being a tribe of Israel, a true Hebrew Israelite tribe, whether I talk about the fact that Don Lemon hates you and wants to destroy you no matter how much he pretends to like black people, no matter how many talk, times I talk about how there was a Black Lives Matter before Black Lives Matter that was actually trying to raise money to help impoverished communities, and then he got defunded and his brand was stolen from him and given to those crazy communists, so they could get black people to just be angry and break stuff. But whenever I talk about good stuff that would actually uplift that community, it's completely censored. More than the Palestinian stuff, more than anything, I've never had so much trouble talking about something than when I talk about black folks. It is so sad that we vote for gender, we vote for race, and we vote for generational, what our grandparents did or our parents. But we don't vote for what is going to be best for us. That's not the way to vote, people. You vote for what is gonna be best for you and your family. Not what color they are. Not what, if they're a female or a male or a cat or a dog. Not what is gonna be best for my family. Come on, people. Kendrick Lamar was not disturbed on his hiatus to come out here and whip Drake's ass just for y'all to think that the they not like us and the us that he's talking about is anybody more than black American people. Are y'all delusional? This has nothing to do with the whole America coming together against Canada. This is about niggas. Okay? The damn show was on Juneteenth. What more of not like us? We're the us. 
You are the they. What are y'all not understanding? Y'all are making whole think pieces and arguing in people's comments, trying to fight to be a part of the us when you are a part of the they. We wouldn't have to sing about a not like us if there was not a they. Let that man make our album and record our music video in peace. Shut up. Be quiet. We don't want to hear you. And as far as I'm concerned, it is Juneteenth year. So hush. As long as they not like us is playing outside, all of the they need to be quiet and let the us turn up. What's wrong with y'all? I know that lady be having the time of her life cosplaying with y'all. I know when she go home at the end of the night, she be like, these N words with the E R, not the A, are so damn stupid. I don't have to waste my time writing no speech. I ain't gotta waste my time telling them what my policies, morals, and stances is for the America and what I plan on doing for America. All they care about is abortions, the continual over like sexualization of black women. All I gotta do is talk in a southern accent, knowing I'm not from not damn southern state, and giving them a little backyard barbecue with some check sodas and a little two step. That's all they care about. They don't care about nothing else. I know she be like, y'all are so stupid. Everybody, Project 2025, Project 2025, Project 2026, Project 2027, Project 2028. What about this project mentality these folks think all black people have? My mama worked too hard to get herself out the projects and to give us the best of the best in life. For me to conform to this foolishness just because these folks say they black. This is weird. It's weird. It's disrespectful. At least because they've been lying to black people for, for, for centuries and centuries and centuries. At least when they lie to black people and they be like, I'm going to do this if you give me your vote. And they have a little bit of class and decorum and they going to sit, sit there and tell you the sweet nothings. At least they do it with a little bit of class. A little bit. Kamala's just straight up telling y'all this is what I think you're worth. This is what you think you're worth. And so I'm not even going to waste my time even trying to make it pretty for you because I think this is what you're worth and you think this is what you're worth. It's disrespectful. It's weird. I am ready for the cameras to come out and just be like, you've been punked. Because this is weird behavior. If this is what y'all feel like y'all worth, then sorry good luck like i don't even know how to even compliment you on for thinking this is what you're worth but i'm not conforming to this foolishness bro play in somebody else's face but you're not playing in mine and this is me being nice about miss kamala i have in a whole opinion on this whole situation that i am not even going to say because y'all ain't ready for it and i just know it's, it's too much i have it's it's one thing about me i'm i'm not a i'm not meant to be a follower Anytime I follow people in my life because I felt like I had to conform and do what they say do and I've always regretted it. If I follow y'all down this path because I'm black and because she's a woman and because you're a Democrat so you gotta vote blue no matter who, no matter who they put in your face, you gotta, this will be single-handedly the biggest regret of my life. I'm not doing it. It's just, it's, I, I know for a fact I will regret it. It's a no. It's a no. If you feel like this is what you worth and you don't see this lady playing in your face, then, like I said, sorry or good luck or whatever. Take the a good compliment. We'll take it. I don't know. Y'all know who these guys is, right? That's the Central Park Five. Y'all know who that is, right? That's Trunk. Do y'all know who this lady is? I doubt it. For, for all the people that don't know who she is, this is Linda Fairstein. This is the district attorney that was on this case that went all out of her way to make sure that these kids never seen the light of day again, right? And you would think that her name would be ringing bells. Like everybody should automatically know who she is as big as this case was and as big as a role that she had. But you want to know why they don't know who she is? Because these guys never mention her. They rarely mention her. They definitely didn't mention her on the DNC stage. That's why I don't respect these guys. Sorry that happened to y'all. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. But the way y'all let them people use y'all to come to the DNC, on top of that, this lady is a Democrat that donate money to their campaign. And y'all went up there to drag Trump, because y'all know that was a hate Trump campaign, and never once mentioned a lady who allegedly hid evidence and did everything in her power to make sure y'all never seen the light of day. And on top of that, when y'all was exonerated, she still to this day think y'all guilty after DNA proved it wasn't y'all. She still think y'all guilty and wish that she could bring up charges on y'all. And y'all went up there and not once mentioned that lady name, that's why I could never respect y'all. Sorry that happened to y'all, but I could never respect that shit. 
See, I was trying to be nice, and I wasn't even going to address the elephant in the room. I pointed out your policies, or lack of thereof, but I would be remiss if I did not point out that Ms. Kamala Harris Emhoff still did not address if she was. I mean, one of the things that's been dogging her campaign, especially amongst the African-American community, was the fact that many individuals have been questioning if she's black. But you had your chance. Dana Bash teed it up real nice for you. But your response was, just the same old playbook. <laughs> Next question. Now you tell me, black people, black women, as proud as they are, as we are, if somebody asks you that question, knowing the history of black people, I'm black and I'm proud, especially a black woman, they would have reached deep down to the pits of hell to read your ass to ever question if they were black. But this is the history of Kamala Harris. It's been rare to find an interview where Kamala Harris has truthfully stood out and said that she's a black woman. She's been proud to say she's an Asian woman, but it goes back to her history of cosplaying. When she was in California with the high Asian population, she went with the first Asian attorney general. But when you look at running on a national stage, it's hip to be black. That lady ain't black. I mean, she told y'all that when she said she washes her greens in the bathtub. Now, you know Big Mama ain't never put no damn greens in no bathtub. Even Shaniqua that can't cook Raymond noodles wouldn't put no greens in no damn bathtub. She playing y'all face. See, black women get mad at black men because we see through this bullshit. And I understand the emotional attachments y'all have. This is a big accomplishment to have a woman of color running for the highest office in the land. I get it, because we felt the same way when it came to Barack Obama. But this ain't the way I envisioned a black woman to get to this level, to reach the depths of being the leader of the free world. Even though all the red flags are there, y'all doing everything in y'all power to make this woman black. And she don't even claim you. How many more signs do y'all need? And some might say that a political strategist told her to say so, not to feed into the negativity of Donald Trump. But this was your moment. You could have set the whole world straight. You could have let the world know that I'm a strong black woman and I'm going to be your next president. But no, I guess in all good conscience, you knew the truth. And I take my hat off to you. You showed us who you truly are. You may be a woman. You might be a woman of color, but you damn sure not black. But on a serious note, the fact remains that every four years after not doing a damn thing in the black community, the Democrats come around and dangle this forbidden fruit or a black person or a woman to get our vote. But they don't address a damn thing in our communities. So the fact remains, if you tired of being sick and tired, if you sick of the Democrats playing in your face, if you tired of these high ass grocery prices, gas prices, everything else is freaking high. Foreign policy going to hell. Are you better off today than you were four years ago? Because if you're not, you know what to do. Y'all have a good day. Be blessed. All my life, my mama ain't never been to no city council meeting. My mama considers herself to be a Democrat. My uncle and them consider themselves to be a Democrat. All of them, all of my family, cousins, aunties, whatever, they, they all consider themselves to be Democrats, right? That's what I knew growing up. I have never seen none of them quote laws and policies. I have never seen none of them go to city council, bring home that information and say, this is this, this is why, and explain. The only thing they ever done was sit in front of their TV around this time and discuss who's saying what, why they said this, why they disagree, why they didn't believe, they politics, I don't believe this, they ain't doing this, they ain't done nothing for their education, they ain't doing nothing for the economy, me. They ain't doing, and all of y'all was going to factories, was financially illiterate. You didn't know how to save money 30 years ago. You don't know how to save money now. You still want to talk about who the president and, 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 and how the president going to help you. You still don't know how to save no money. You still don't, you still can barely afford your car. It ain't got nothing to do with the decision of, of, of voting for who was president because you don't know how to, you don't know how to do nothing. What is you talking about? Then you sit up, then this, this is another thing. You sit up and you watching these young, you watching the younger generation up under you that you don't know how to educate. And then when they come up and they disagree with you on, on their own personal experience, the first thing you want to do is jump and keep trying to project.
And the truth, your projection and your experiences do not prove that your system or the system that you believe in has worked. It's the same thing when it comes to the church. Now, I didn't want to go there, but now we're going. Do you know how many people are Christian? I'm not a Christian. I'm a believer. And I'm a, let me clarify that before I go any further because I want to make sure y'all understand what I'm saying. The word Christian was only used in the Bible when they went to Antioch and they said, there go them Christians and they were mocking them because they was the, they was the followers of Yeshua who we know as Jesus, the Christ, not Jesus like his last name, Christ. He was the Messiah. So the same reason why a lot of people call themselves Christians to this day and they'll say, ain't nothing wrong with saying, well, if you do your education, if you, if you do your research in the word, you will understand that Yeshua himself in the red letters that you read in in the New Testament when it comes to Matthew, Mark, John, and Luke. He never called you that. So in, in doing that, you was raised up under it all your life. And now you're scared to even say, now nah, I'm a believer. You're scared to say I'm a disciple. You're scared to say I'm a disciple. You're scared to say I'm a saint because it's been programmed and pushed down in you so hard. You think if you say anything other than Christian, you think you'll get in trouble by the most high. When the truth of the matter is, if you read like the scriptures say, study to show thyself approved, you won't be afraid to say I'm a believer because that's what he said. If you go to the scripture, he said, go and make disciples of all nations. You wonder why you ain't never made a disciple and you've been making Christians because you didn't follow what the, you didn't follow the, 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 the command of the most high. He said, go ye in all the world and make disciples. He didn't say not one time, go and make Christians. And that's why you've been going to church every Sunday, paying your tithes. Nothing has happened. You've been sitting up under this preacher saying the same thing for 20 years, and you're still in your same condition, same mindset, doing the same things you've been doing all of your life. Do you know how many people are afraid to say the real name? How is it? I had a conversation with my uncle like two and a half years ago. I ain't talked to him in a long time. We was having a conversation. He tried to say it's semantics. I said, he said, why you keep calling him Yeshua? I said, why do you call him Jesus? He said, ain't nothing wrong with calling him Jesus. That's the English translation. I said, no, that's the English. It's a transliteration. I said, because if you go into the scripture, when the most high called people by their name, he called them it because it was power in the name as to, as, as to what they said. When you read the scripture, he said, those who call up on my name. So the question is, what is his name? Because the truth of the matter is, if Yeshua was walking down the street right now, if he was walking, listen to what I'm if he was walking down the street right now and somebody was trying to get his attention and his back was turned and there was other people also walking down the street and they were saying, Jesus, hey, Jesus, Jesus, what reason does he have to turn around? It's not his name. That's the truth. But you can tell people that. You can tell people that and they'll say, well, there's nothing wrong with that. What? Why come it's not? And my question to you going to be is, what's wrong with me saying the real name? The, why is it that you have a problem with me saying the real name? That's insane. That, that is insane. It's the same thing when it comes to the church. A lot of people call themselves Christian based on what they grew up around, based on what they people told them. And the church that they took them to, whether you a Baptist, whether you whether you a Baptist, whether you Pentecostal, whether you enter that. If you read in the scripture, the dominations did not even exist. They was calling it based on cities and where they was from. So if you did your if you did your education, you would know not to be saying you're a Baptist. You because there's no unity. He said it's one body, one spirit, one body. One spirit. How you saying you Baptist? How you saying you Pentecostal? How you saying you a Catholic? How you saying you Jehovah? How you saying and then but we all saying it's just a different teaching is what we believe in. But if we come together, he said, well, two or three are in the midst. He said, well, two or three are gathered. I'm in the midst. How is it that you getting with a Baptist and staying with a Pentecostal and you think he's standing in the midst? You got you got different beliefs. There's so many people who believe, well, you can't catch the spirit. You got to be baptized. You ain't got to do nothing but read the scripture. It'll tell you. It'll, it'll tell you. It'll tell you. It'll tell you. It says, study to show thyself approved. And people just don't want to do that. You can sit here just like with politics. You can have an education to educate one another. And what I'm saying to the people is, what going, because the world is not getting better. Listen to what I'm telling you. Listen to what I'm telling you. The world is not going to get better. 
the prices probably ain't gonna get better. The, 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 the way people's minds and all of this stuff is going, it's not gonna get better. In this situation, it, right now, what you need to do is put yourself in a better position to provide and protect. Provide and protect. So, and right now, because one got to be in there, what's going to give you the best to provide and protect, to put yourself into a situation where you can take care of your family? Exactly. That's, that's what I'm saying. Hey, chosen one, they don't have to love me. Let me explain to you why. He said, listen, because anybody who in the spirit, Anybody who in the spirit, he said, you will know them by their love for one another. And if you love somebody, then you then you have then you know to speak the truth. You 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 like I said, he said he said he said he said faithful are the wounds of a friend, deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. You have set up under a pastor for 10, 15 years who really finna lead you to the gates of hell. I'm gonna go even deeper with you because I just felt it in my gut. Fire shut up in my bones. Look, check this out. You have watched some of these pastors, teachers, and preachers, and prophets lay their hands on people and they fall to the ground based on the music and their emotions, shed tears, and they never caught the Holy Ghost. Nothing never changed in their life. You, you were so programmed. You were so religious. You were so religious. You felt like you had to fall down because you didn't want to stand there and you didn't have enough courage, you didn't have a heart, and you didn't have the boldness that the Spirit told you to have and say, I don't feel nothing, sir. You keep pushing me because you want me to fall down. And then they run up and they put the sheets and stuff up on you. And then you giving a false sense of hope to the next person and the next child to get up there and they feel like they have to fall because they don't want, and then they get to shaking and they get up as if they done caught the Holy Ghost and they get to saying, that they get to saying how commercial break me please how is it that you telling me that that same holy ghost tongue is being spoke 20 years later that you heard as a child and a now person interpreted what them folks were saying up there when they got the bullets it ain't never been interpreted and not only has it never been interpreted you ain't seen nobody possess no power yet they folk they spoke over them folks in tongue lay hands on them people put oil on and them folks is still in the same condition that they in double tap the screen if you ain't already following me hit the follow button but you will still get up there. You will go to church Sunday, even after hearing this right now. After hearing this right now, you will be in church Sunday, scared to go and research everything that I told you. And get what? And if you went and said it to your pastor, your pastor say, well, you know all of that. And if you open the word, like they used to tell me, well, let's see what the word got to say about that. If you open the word and you showed it to your pastor, get what they're saying. Well, that's right. Because one thing for sure, two things for certain. Go open your Bible. Watch this. Watch this. If you go to church and you spoke in tongues and you heard them speak in tongues, have you ever listened to the question? It ain't hard. It, it ain't, a, it ain't, you know, it ain't. Listen to the question. When they spoke in tongues, have you ever seen an interpreter tell you what they said? It's a yes or no. I loved your content until you started with this black narrative. It's 2024. The people that are perpetuating racism is mostly black people. We are over it. Why aren't you? First of all, y'all clearly don't know the definition of racism. You don't. I don't, I know for a fact that you don't know what the definition of that word means because you would stop saying that black people are racist. We don't possess the power to be racist anywhere in the world. Race was created by white people. Black was created by white people. The systems that oppress us, capitalism, patriarchy, came by way of whiteness against black people. We were not the people that were killing you. You were killing us. We were not raping you. You were raping us. We were not taking and stealing your children. You were taking and stealing our children while we were nursing your fucking white babies. We weren't skinning you alive and eating you. 
You were skinning us and eating our flesh. We didn't torture you and call it medicine and science. You fucking tortured us and called it medicine or science. So what the fuck are y'all talking about? Y'all love this high and mighty, holier than thou spirituality, but y'all don't ever want to correct your heart posture and recognize that there is a fucking race problem in this world and it's specific towards people that look like me. Y'all want to believe that y'all y'all are happy healers, that y'all are going to see heaven. What, what heaven am I going to be in with my oppressors? Get the fuck out of here. As far as I know, the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. And since white people got here, that's all you've been fucking doing. Killing, stealing, and destroying. So no, we're not going to forget about it. We'll forget about it when we get the land and resources that y'all took from us and gave away to other people. That's when we'll forget about it, when we get our reparations, when you admit to the world that we've been deceived, that you've been deceived, that history is a lie. When you do that, we'll forget about it. But until then, we're going to keep fighting for our freedom and we're coming for it. And I'm just letting you know that you are on the wrong side of some shit you don't want to be on the wrong side of. And just to be clear, for all of the religious and spiritual people that are kind of going to come in here and say, well, that's not what peace is. Peace doesn't exist without freedom. That's why the second coming of Christ is coming as a warrior. Yeah, we, the collective body, the black Jesus that Russia keeps showing off, us, we are coming to get our freedom. And we're coming as warriors. So like I said, get your right get that get that under control figure that out before it's too late because i just want to be clear the man yahoshua that 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 story he was a revolutionary i'm a revolutionary i'm here for a mission i got work to do i'm here for the 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 sole purpose of making sure the soul people get their soul back and if you don't get that it's because you ain't part of the soul people y'all can get mad all y'all want to get I know my heart. I know I'm good. I know I I know I love. I know I exist in kindness. But y'all keep wanting me to be kind to my enemy that keeps spitting in my face, kicking me in my face, punching me in my face, and telling me to forget about it. No. When you stop spitting in my face, kicking me in my face, punching me in my face, that is when I'll forgive about forget about it and be in a position to forgive. We've been forgiven. Time and time again, we forgive daily. We tired of forgiving without no progress. We tired of forgiving without no freedom. We're done doing that. We're coming to get our shit. I hope that makes it clear for you.
was a time where I let myself and my family down. Homeless with two jobs. Huh. Today, I tell my story. Uh, cruising through in that black or black with my family. Bending corners, triple tinted with hella B. Before them, I didn't think this could ever be. Growing up hella smart, removing aimlessly. I remember when I used to get painted by name brand sneaks. They would clown me for the pain that I had on my feet. Now it's Italian handmade between my souls. Love the soul. No matter what, it's on you. So if it don't happen, because you can make the right decision. Or, no decision at all. Ah, uh, yeah, running my mouth, couldn't wait to get older. Eight years old, big chip on my shoulder. See, back then I didn't understand the hold up. Now I look back, should have kept your mouth closed, bruh. Imagine having to. The summer heat, like, bro, you ain't changed your mind yet. Put the Wally World windows pop for airflow. A butter reader just to fall asleep on the floor. My pillow was a gym bag with some work clothes, toothbrush, body wash, and a stick of B.O. Playing in fitness where I showered off the B.O. I knew this situation couldn't be for me, so I got my act together now. I'm falling creeping down the street. If I gave up, I wouldn't know that this could ever be. To a close, it's on you to not give up. I had so many chances to cave in and throw it all away. Other times, I cursed the world, beat myself up. Even times I want to end it. Never overpowered my determination to be the man my family needed. And I'll make sure. Pretty melanated thing. There's nothing like a black queen. Y'all know what I'm saying, yo. Ay, 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 ay. Y'all know what it is. Yeah, let go. Good morning, black queen. Girl, you're my favorite thing. For the record, I bet you that you don't know just what you mean to me. Cause what I see is hard to believe. That brown skin, your melanin, intoxicating your fairy tale beauty, magnificent booty. And that small it put my heart streams. You make my day, you got it in spades You might not fly play, I'm trying to vibe with you like every day, babe uh. Come here, baby Why don't you come in, baby, I'ma treat you like a lady And take some time to vibe When you come in like a vibe, me and you, we can slide Cause you got just what I need Reality meet my dreams and Some chocolate kisses. Not looking for a baby mama. Let's upgrade you to missus. Then we both come up missing. Overseas, check your flights, change your life. Come on, mama, just let me know you're with it. Black woman, you're so fine. Love how you blow my mind. The way you walk and talk. Conversation you spark. Illuminate the dark. Lay me ease for your mind. I want our legacy to last an end of time. Uh, uh, uh. Why don't you come in, baby? I'ma treat you like a lady. Jordan Groove, Williams, Francis Crest, can't help but look at 
jeans. Honey almonds, a butter pecan, milk and dark chocolate. There's nothing better than full lips, full hips, and that kinky hairdo. Baby, just say the word and you know I got you. You hold a brother down, plus you keep it tight. Hottest Bali style, already booked a flight. Uh, yeah, know what I mean? There's nothing like you, baby. No, serious, cuz. My pretty melanated queen, she got just what I need. Uh, uh. Come on, baby. Hey. Why don't you come here, baby? I'm gonna treat you like a lady. Oh, yes, sir. Hey, bitch, I'm bad. A nice mood is I wanna set the mood by wine or in the grooves. Rock topless when we cruise under the moon. Touch me, baby, whenever you're in the mood. I ain't never ever met no one like you. Can I get you top and still work you to this tune? Backstroke still to fix your attitude. Lady, baby, the money calls, I gotta move. She said my problems every time I call you working. You barely text back up on your socials lurking. Come beat it up. Guess I need to put in the purse, bitch. She reached over for where her pride of purse is. My purpose not to leave you on red on purpose. I'm working. How you think that pride got? Here. I grind hard, yeah, but I'm not a timeshare, it's not fair, I guess you really miss a when I'm not there, my top five are nice booties, I wanna set the mood by wine, or and be grooves, rock topless when we cruise under the moon, touch me baby whenever you're in the mood, I ain't never ever met no one like you, can I get you top and still work you to this tune, backstroke instead of fix your attitude, lady baby the money calls, I gotta move, I respond to Seems like at times you whine and you want extraordinary or a nine to five. I'm supposed to be a man, do you expect your father? How you complain about the grind but not defend your pride? Or do you see how that's a problem? She turned around, said, look, baby, I'm sorry. I just missed the way you would touch my body. Get naked, I want to feel it deep inside me. She trying to ride a like a brand new my car. Top five of the nice SB2 booties, I want to set the mood by wine or in the grooves. Watch the top of the grooves under the moon. Touch me, baby, whenever you're in the mood. You I ain't down never ever top met no one like you. Can I get you to top and work so. you to this tune? Backstroke you know instead of fix your attitude. Nah, feel. Lady, baby, the money calls, I gotta move. And when you need me, I gotta move. But the money calls, I gotta move. The money's I gotta move, lady, baby, the money nah, calls. I gotta I'm move. I'm only about my money, but I'm a man on a mission. But gotta move. And I believe in getting it when the getting's but good. But gotta move. That's how we wind down. But gotta move, lady, baby, the money calls. I gotta be there for you, baby. You're my top five, but nice food is. I wanna set the mood by wine or in the grooves. Rock topless when we cruise under the moon. Touch me, baby, whenever you're in the mood. I ain't never ever I ain't met never no met one like you. like you. Can I get you top and still work you to this tune? Back strokes that'll fix your attitude. Lady, baby, yeah. the money calls. I gotta move. It's more than physical. It's more than money. I just make sure my paper straight. And would you be in the proximity of me? That means you straight. And we can both scrape shrimp and lobster off the plate. Cause I gotta
Shit off my chest. Be saying fucking things. Get down like I plan. Get a ride. Fuck em. Hey, there was a, there was a time where I well, let myself and my family down. Homeless for two jobs. Huh. Today, I tell my story. Uh, cruising through in that black or black with my family Bending corners, triple tinted with hella B Before then, I didn't think this could ever be Growing up hella smart, we moving aimlessly I remember when I used to get painted by name brand sneaks They would clown me for the painters I had on my feet Now it's Italian handmade between my soles Throw the shame in the concrete uh. Don't trip, I ain't stunting on your little buddy But grown man moves have you counting up different money and I'm a ride for the lot. My bros got my back and we running up our stocks. Y'all chasing hoes, ain't even got a car. The place to survive and you stay at the mile. Damn, priorities all wrong. Now you pocket watch and looking for something to rob. Uh, I have no one to blame but myself. As a man, you have to make the hard decisions. No matter what, it's on you. And a stick of Dio Planet Fitness where I showered off the B.O. I knew this is 
situation couldn't be for me, so I got my act together now. I'm falling creeping down the street. If I gave up, I wouldn't know that this could ever be. As we come to a close, it's on you to not give up. I had so many chances to cave in and throw it all away. Other times I cursed the world, beat myself up. Even times I want to end it. Never overpowered my determination to be the man my family needed. And I'll make sure. Like a black queen, like a black queen, you pretty melanated thing. There's nothing like a black queen, y'all know what I'm saying, yo. Ay, 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 y'all know what it is, yeah, let go. Good morning, black queen, girl, you're my favorite thing. For the record, I bet you that you don't know just what you mean to me, cause what I see is hard to believe. That brown skin, your melanin, intoxicating in your fairy tale beauty, magnificent booty, and that smile that pulled my heartstrings. You make my day, you got it in the spade. You mind if I play? I'm trying to vibe with you like every day, baby. Ah. Uh. Why don't you come in, baby? I'ma treat you like a lady. Some chocolate kisses. Not looking for a baby mama. Let's upgrade you to missus. Then we both come up missing. Overseas, check your flights, change your life. Come on, mama, just let me know you're with it. Black woman, you're so fine. Love how you blow my mind. The way you walk and talk. Conversation you spark. Illuminate the dark. Let me explore your mind. I want our legacy to last an end of time. Uh, uh, uh. Why don't you come in, baby? I'ma treat you like a lady. Pretty melanated queen, she got just what I need. Uh, 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 uh. Hey. Why don't you come in, baby? I'ma treat you like a lady. Oh, yes, sir. Hey, bitch, I'm bad.